And as a history professor at Rhodes University, I mean, how do you personally feel about changing the name of Rhodes University? It's a very difficult one. In principle, I would favour a name change. Mm. I've always felt very uncomfortable working at a university named after Cecil Rhodes. And the issue has arisen again now for the first mm. time in 20 years. Back in 1994, a motion was put to the University Senate mm. to change the name of the university. A subcommittee was set up and that subcommittee canvassed opinion across the community and the weight of opinion was against a name change. Not because people felt that Rhodes was still a hero, no one actually said that. Mm. The argument was that Rhodes' name had brand value, mm. that the name is associated with the Rhodes Scholarships and Rhodes Scholarships are an indication of academic excellence mm. and therefore perhaps Rhodes University is a centre of academic excellence, mm. even though there's actually no connection at all between Rhodes University and the Rhodes Scholarships. They just happen to have this connection mm. with the Rhodes Trust. But now doc, the new Vice-Chancellor, Dr Mabizela, has been landed with this problem and it's not going to go away. Mm. I think over the past 20 years people have probably muttered about the name. But how do you deal with the name change? And, and Dr Mabizela has indicated already at a lively student body meeting mm. that he's a Democrat and he feels that a democratic process has to be followed. But mm. herein lies the problem. If you have a democratic process, you consult with all the various constituencies with, with the makeup of the university community. Mm students, staff, support staff and alumni. Which constituency should have the greater voice? Mm. Some people will say, well alumni, they've left, mm. their time has gone, why should they have a say? Other people will say students are temporary sojourners at the university, they'll mm. be gone in two, three, four years, why should they have a major say? So that in itself make, creates a difficulty. Mm. But if you do have a, a wide spread process of consultation. The wider the consultation, the more likely, in my view, and I'm guessing here, the more likely that the weight of opinion will be in favour of retaining the name. That's mm. what I think is the likely outcome. Mm. And so that places, I'd say, the Vice-Chancellor in, in a very difficult position. If the democratic process led to the view, the majority view, that the name should be changed, that would be easy, that would be great. Mm. And bear in mind too that there are, among the alumni, there are some wealthy donors who mm. actually give quite a lot of money to the university. Mm. And I know very well that some of those donors would object very strongly to a name change. Mm. They have a very strong attachment to the university. Mm. They belong to the old Rhodian network, mm. which is quite a strong network. Mm. What happens to the old yeah. Rhodian, do they come the old, University of Eastern Capians, you know, that's, that's mm -hmm. a very un, ungainly kind of... I guess that's what makes this uh, particularly tricky and have you mm. sort of seen any, I guess, kind of um, hypocrisy in students paying for the removal but then at the same time benefiting from Rhodes Scholarships which still come from his estate? I think, I think there's maybe some discomfort among some people mm. about benefiting from the Rhodes Scholarships. You see, the, the issue has also been further complicated mm. because 13 years ago, in 2002, they created the Mandela Rhodes Foundation. Mm. Mandela very generously lent his name, linked his name to Cecil Rhodes. And that upset some people. Um, it certainly uh, upset Adekeo Adebaje, mm. who was the director of the Center for Conflict Resolution. He called it a monstrous marriage. But what it what actually did was it lent some legitimacy to the name of Cecil Rhodes. Mm. Um, and Mande the Mandela Rhodes Foundation awards a number of scholarships uh, for students to study not at Oxford but in Africa. Mm. And many students have benefited from these scholarships. Mm. So again, uh, I think the people who are baying for change um, I haven't really mentioned the scholarships. They, they can't change the name of the scholarships because they mm. are administered from Oxford by the Rhodes mm. Trust. 